up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. You know, we keep beating a dead horse sometimes with this whole wingnut attitude of a carb is a carb, and it doesn't matter if it's a fucking sugar, and it doesn't matter if it's this, and it can be fucking fiber, it can be complex, it can be fucking pop tarts, it can be pixie sticks, it can be fucking dirt. It's all carbohydrates. It all gets broken down to glucose. It all does the same thing. And as long as your calories are the right way, then you're going to be fine. And that's what science says. And science is always right. And let me fix this fucking camera. God damn it. All right. Anyways. Well, I told you guys I like to read MD. And MD likes to put new studies or the latest cutting edge studies and stuff in their magazine. Now, before you wing nuts go off and go, well, it's a magazine, Jerry. It doesn't have real stuff in it. It's all bullshit. Lane Norton is published in this magazine this month. Lee Norton is your idols. He's the one you look up to. He's the one that follows science. So saying that this magazine contains all false information and it sucks, it's not real, would say that Lane has either aligned himself with a magazine that sucks and gives out false information or Lane himself is not credible. So before you guys say that stuff, think about it. Now, this one is the case against fructose. All right, it says, uh, let's see. Dietary sugar intake includes starch, sucrose, and high fructose corn syrup. Okay, starch is a complex carb found in bread and rice. Sucrose, or tab table sugar, excuse me, is composed of 50% glucose and fructose. High fructose corn syrup is 40% glucose and 60% fructose. All right, you guys got these numbers so far? All right, glucose and fructose contain equal calories. Here's the part I want you to pay attention to. Okay, I'll repeat. Glucose and fructose contain equal calories, but they are processed differently. That means they're both used differently, okay? Glucose is used directly by tissues such as the brain and muscles, while fructose is processed in the liver. The breakdown process of fructose makes it easier to form fat. Some scientists have linked high fructose intake to heart disease, insulin resistance, and diabetes. So they've linked fructose, but not high glucose or high carbohydrates. Okay, let's back up for a second. What this says, okay, and this is... Um, Basically, you have different forms of carbohydrates. They're all broken down into glucose, essentially, at some point. But they're saying fructose, before it's broken down, is processed in the liver. Okay, and it's used for, it's stored in the liver for energy. While glucose goes directly by, to the brain and is used for energy by the brain. Now, can glucose be in the muscles? Yes. It can lead in the liver? Yes. It can do all that. But if you took f uh, half fructose and half glucose and ingested it, they're going to do two different things in the body. Ah, so now, same amount of calories, two different things in the body, two different reactions. They're actually broken down and stored in two different ways. But they're both carbohydrates. Well, not carbohydrates, they're both a form of energy, a glucose. They're the same thing. Eventually, that fructose will become glucose. So why is it so fucking crazy to think that a complex carb like oatmeal or brown rice or rice or whatever, could be processed differently, get a different hormonal response, and get into different tissues at a different rate than a fucking Pop-Tart. You actually don't think there's any difference. Because some fucking wingnut science study said something about everything being equal and we should just reduce calories and that's it. But bottom line is scientists now, here's the problem. Everybody will want to get as much information as they possibly can and get it out there. Okay, and then they make a broad statement, like, boom, here it is. Now what happens is you have this big statement that you've made about this big overall thing. Now there are many things under the umbrella of this big overall broad thing. And now what happens is after you've figured out this big thing exists, now you start looking into all these little things, finding out what makes this broad thing exist. That's what's happening now. The scientists have figured carbohydrates, energy, okay, everything is broken down into glucose. So it doesn't really matter where it comes from, it's all going to turn into glucose. Now... Wait a minute, there's different types of things that cause different responses. We should look into this. Wait a minute, fructose is used differently than glucose? Is fructose used differently than a complex starchy carb? Yes, wait a minute, they're used differently? Shit, now we now need to study this. Here's the studies, but the wing that people are already focused on, it's all the umbrella. They're all broken down into glucose. It doesn't matter. Whereas it's very obvious. I would love to see someone do this, and maybe I should do this. Maybe I should take a Diet complete, all my carbohydrates, all of them, come from pixie sticks for 10 weeks. I mean, this would suck balls to do this because who the fuck wants to eat pixie sticks all day long? But eat pixie sticks all as your only source of carbs with your regular protein sources, with your regular 
fat sources, all the calories and macros stay the same, but you pull your carb sources out and all you eat only is pixie sticks. And let's see what happens to your body. Now, theoretically, going by these people that say, well, if you have sugar or starchy carbs, it doesn't matter. It's all broken down into glucose. It's going to be the same results. Well, why the fuck are you people still eating complex carbs? Why are you guys not eating just all sugar all the time? What's the problem? Can, it, can you fit it in your macros? Well, fuck, if you take your protein sources and a carbohydrate source and a fat source, you manipulate them all together. Yes, you can fit them into your macros. So why isn't anybody doing this to prove the fact? You just want to argue based on a paper, but none of you have said, you know, <laughs> you, can, you can do this. Look, I've done it. So I'm the one that's always out there practicing what I preach. And if I say something, it's because I've experienced it. Why doesn't somebody else do it for a change? Why doesn't one of you just go ahead and grab that brass ring and prove everybody in the fucking bro science world wrong and do only fucking sugars, maybe just table sugar. Maybe all you do is eat fucking table sugar out of the sugar bowl and that's your form of carbohydrates for 12 weeks, okay? And your exercising stays the same and your cardio stays the same and your fat stays the same and your protein stays the same and your meal timing, everything stays the same but all you do is swap out whatever carbs you're eating for just sugar. And let's see what happens. Who, who wants to do this? I know I don't because at the end of 12 weeks I'm going to be a fat Michelin looking piece of shit. So there's no fucking way I want to do it, but who wants to do this and give it a try? For those of you guys who are real lean and real thin, hey, this might actually help put a few pounds on. So why don't you guys give it a try? Prove it wrong instead of arguing all the time about this. And now the people that you look up to, which are scientists, because you say science has all the answers, science works every time. Even science is saying different forms of glucose that are, or different forms of carbohydrates are used different ways. That's what that study says. Killing me. Biosutraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below. Fight this one out. Some of you are going to be IFYM, which I got a new IFYM. It's if it's from your mom. If my mom makes it, I'm going to fucking eat it. Bioistry training at gmail.com and where this is the pixie stick bicep and we're out.